Professor will help you with that. Yeah, so he said. Do you mind? I'd like to take a look inside you. I'm sorry. For what? If I hurt you. So what do you see? She bugs oh, yeah. Hey, kid. Are you running again? You got any money? No. Okay. Well, let me give you some free advice. Okay, when the conductor comes along here, you go and hide in the toilet. That way you won't have to pay. I'm a freak. Yeah, well, welcome to the club. You know, I woke up one day in a forest in the middle of nowhere, and uh, I didn't know where these came from. Listen. Well, yeah. I always looked at this pal I had as a curse. Okay. Now, when I first knew about it, I didn't think I'd be able to live. I mean, I can't even show you the scars from all the times I've tried to kill myself, okay? Because they just disappear. When you touched me, when I was lying here, with no healing ability to apply, that was the closest to death I've ever been. And I realized that I didn't like it. Okay, you're a powerful girl, Rogue. And I understand if that frightens you. As much as I hate to admit it, these people, these, the school, if you don't get help from them, then your power is going to be your curse. It will plague you. Understand? Get out. Yikes. Get out. Where am I supposed to go? I don't know. Get out. You don't know or you don't care? Pick one. Get out. Look, I think there's a town about 20 miles up. So what's your name? Logan, what's yours? Rogue. So what kind of a name is Rogue? What kind of a name is Logan? Hey, is, is this your wife? She's, I think she's pretty. Yeah. So, how long have you known? Known what? That you had, you know, that you were, you know, like me. <laughs> I'm not like you. All oh, right, you're just a normal everyday club. Listen, kid, about the only thing you've done to endear yourself to me is to get me into a fight, so listen to me. Shut up. Were you really going to kill that guy? I don't know. Okay, I was just making it up as I go along. I've been here almost... I've been here almost seven years now. Of course, Scott's been here the longest. And, uh, and you've been doing what exactly? Studying, teaching, learning to develop my own abilities. Which are? Telekinesis. I can move objects with my mind. I also have some telepathic ability, but... Oh, yeah, like the ball guy. My telepathy is no near as powerful as Professor Xavier's, but sometimes... Mm -hmm. If I make a strong enough connection, if you don't mind, it's for DNA step. The more we know about you, the more we can figure out what Magneto's interest in you might be. Plus, I study mutations. It's sort of a hobby of mine. That's a remarkable gift you have. Oh, yeah. 
I'm real lucky. Is this, is this where the... Shoot. I'm gonna go back to, let's start with, that's a remarkable gift you have, but instead of playing cynical, play it actually, this one. Play it a little. Because it's not for you, it's, it, you don't know where it comes from. And okay. It's sort of a torture. Okay. And, um, yeah. It's we, for DNA stamping, the more we know about you, the more we can figure out what Magneto's interest in you might be. Plus I study mutations, it's sort of a hobby of mine. It's a remarkable gift you have. Oh yeah, I'm real lucky. Tell me, is this with a... What happened to you? I don't remember. Try it again, but really not accessible here. I think, because I think... What, oh, okay, yeah. My, my feel is this. I think when she starts drawing blood and talking about this, and she starts saying... It's, he backs off. Like, even, even when... In a weird way, I think when he she takes the blood and it sort of seals up, it embarrasses him in some way. Oh, okay. I think this whole thing embarrasses him. Yeah. Okay. And he's just and, and almost when when he pops the claws on her, it's sort of like, is this where the and he just kind of looks at her and it's like. Oh yeah. Okay. This is okay. You know. Don't go here. Yeah. This is not. Yeah. None of this is. This is, you think you know. Okay. And that sort of thing. So. I, I also have. What is it? Is it mine? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Sorry. yeah, yeah. I'm reading your that was mind. Good. That was my little. That was good. Mind reading invitation. Do you want to go back to <laughs> um, <laughs> What's happening is here. Just it's a little. Uh, it's it's getting a little. You're getting a little theatrical. You're kind of stepping up the voice into more oh, okay. of a, into okay. something. Uh, uh, you, you know, and it's really. I think I'm looking at is playing it, is being able to play it it's deep, fine. you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, okay, uh, sure. But um, let's go one more time with this scene, with individual wild things. That's just my, I'm in shooting mm. mode, so I'm like, okay, take two, but pick it up from. But, I want to um, see this on this line, and that on that. But, uh, hey, do um, you want to do the last scene? The last scene? No. Oh, no. Um, no. See, I, I'm not... The, the, the language, it bothers me only because this language I'm, I've changed and I've done. Yeah, and he, he's... You know, and, and, and also trying to make his investigative... I think there's a lot of stuff he doesn't want to know, and yet at the same time, he helps beg exposition from, from, for the story. I mean, he helps beg questions. You know, he yeah. makes questions yeah. for people to answer, but yet it can't seem... Yeah. Obvious. It has to be like, wow, you know. Um, you know, that's why if you. It's, uh, did you. You put a flip on the line, so what's your name? Did you make. You made a joke of that line, yes? There's one well, line. Well, it just seems strange that he well, answers her. Well, yeah, exactly. So I it, figured. Logan, what's yours? Uh, exactly. So th that, that, that kind of thing, yeah. yeah. Because clearly, it, you don't want to ever give up too much. In fact, the idea of the guy reading your mind and discovering his exactly. past is not too enlightening. Exactly. And that's why, you know, so he said, it's, you know, he can help you with that. It's kind of like, 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 you know, there are other losses you're dealing with, the loss of your whole truck and all your belongings and all that's gone, and here you are in this place, and that's going to be... You know, I'm selling the audience a big concept of you staying there, but you've been mm. transported this distance, mm. and there's a bit of intrigue and some attraction with the woman, the gene, and things like that. But, um, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Well, there's a kind of a side to him, too, that's got He enjoys that, too. He enjoys the adventure of it. Mm -hmm. um, as reluctant as he is to give in to it. So in that, um, going back to that earlier scene with Gene, really what he's playing there, what, what uh, Wolverine's, she sees his vulnerability, his weakness, yeah, about anything to do with himself, about his, his anything, 
So it's really sort of defensive, mm -hmm. pulling back to the point of don't do this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's kind of a shyness that makes him. I think that that's going to be the, the, the parts that that's going to be what's going to make him sympathetic. Is he's not necessarily a nice guy, but he's there's a you know mm. again he helped the girl out. You know, he feels responsible for her. Like sure. But um, all right. Well, I got to spin my wheels now. Okay, but. Let's see how things go.